Hello everybody, Miss Sackett here to talk about modified contour because we're going to do our demonstration. So first off, some things to remind you <clears throat> that it is very similar to pure contour. So you're going to want to visualize first. And yes, I will keep telling you how to visualize till we get practiced and and get used to it. Okay. All right. So when you visualize, you're going to look at your object. You want to make sure it's a good 3D object with bends and turns and great shapes. All right. You want to look at your object. Look at all the bends, the turns, the curves, the spaces in between, how all the parts fit together. Solely focused on the whole object. All you see are the beautiful lines and shapes. And when you do that switch and the world around you disappears, that's when you are ready to draw. And not until then. Sometimes you have to stop and revisualize. You want to keep your concentration. And I want you to know modify contour is going to be a little bit more um, intense than pure contour. Because remember this time, once you're in visual mode, you're picking a spot to start and your eye is slowly moving and you are slowly drawing exactly what you see as you see it, not looking at the paper. Only now you're gonna draw, 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 about a half an inch, sometimes sooner. Take a peek, and what you're doing is you're checking to make sure your drawing is going the right direction, that your eye and your drawing are at the same speed together and one's not getting ahead of the other, that you're not going too fast, things are the right length, the right width, and you're curving the right direction so that when you peek, you can adjust it and say, okay, I need to turn my drawing down a little bit. And then go back to your object, draw, draw, draw. Stop and take a peek at the paper. Draw, draw, draw. Stop and take a peek. Now, while I'm drawing, I'm going to try and remind you that I'm stopping and peeking. But anytime I talk, I'm going to stop drawing because this is a very extreme right brain activity as is pure contour and talking's left brain, I wanna make sure that Ms. Sackett's visualizing and doing the technique correct as well, okay? And of course, I'm gonna do this lovely object for my demonstration and we're gonna go on a wild ride. I'm gonna turn the camera and get us ready for um, my drawing. Um, also, I'm using my ebony today. Now, just a reminder, an ebony is a very soft drawing pencil. It kinda of glides like butter on the paper. It's like ice skating. If you've ever been at ice skating, how smooth it is. It just goes whoo across the paper. So nice. Um, ebony is a type of pencil, not a brand. There's all kinds of different. This one happens to be Prismacolor. There are design ebonies. There's all kinds of different brands. But this draws really dark and it glides across the paper because it's soft. Now, another thing that will work is like a 6B, a 7B, 8B. The B's. For some reason, it must be in a foreign language. I'm not sure which one. Or B means soft or dark, but B's um, are soft. If it has an H on it, the H is hard. So if you're looking at drawing pencils like an 8B, 7B, 6B, will draw nice and dark. Or you can have a whole kit, okay? But ebony's because when we get to 3D shading, you're gonna wanna have a pencil that's gonna draw darker, otherwise your HB only goes so dark. Okay, um, also, um, forgot what I was saying. But anyway, all right, going for a ride. Hey, everybody. Ah. Let me get this situated. Oh, no, oopsie, sorry about that. It, a camera with my chair. All righty. I want to make sure that I get both the drawing and the picture in. And today it's modified contour. And just like yesterday, you only want to focus on that little bit of information at a time. You don't want to see too much or you'll miss the details. And again, I'm going to do a five minute drawing. That's how um, uh, long your warm ups are. And also it's a good time for just beginning to practice. And you can always do these drawings outside of warm-up time. They're really good to help improve your drawing 
You don't have to do them just uh, when we're doing warm-ups. Make sure everything's adjusted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the timer. When you're doing a warm-up for five minutes, five minutes, um, part of your drawing time is your visualizing. And for a while, that should take more time than, the, than when you get practice. The more you practice, the easier visualizing and staying in the right side of the brain gets. Remember, practice, practice, practice. All right, let me go, stay pencil. I'm gonna go set the timer and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna make sure my object is in an interesting pose. And then I'm going to visualize. And remember, I'm looking at my object. I just finished the shape, so I'm gonna take a peek. I'm gonna place my pencil where it should go. And then I'm gonna go back to my object and draw. Now I finished the shape, so I'm gonna place my pencil. I'm gonna go back to my object now. Finished a shape. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down here. You don't want to travel too far in modify contour. You want to stay near stuff that's by each other because this is different than pure contour. You could keep drawing and drawing and drawing and have no uh, worries at all. This one, I want to make sure stuff is lining up. So I'm going to go back and do stuff that's um, down here. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new shape. So I am going to place my pencil. All right, finished a shape, I'm gonna place my pencil. Now this time I'm gonna be connecting down here, so I'm gonna drive slower and I'm gonna look a few times so that I don't cross my boundary. All right, I'm taking a peek. Draw, draw, draw. I think I'm getting close. Take a peek. Now I have that just that tiny bit of information. If it's about the size of that mark, <coughs> <it's, coughs> excuse me, it's okay to just finish it to enclose it because it's not missing any information or assuming stuff that I'm gonna mess up. All right, so I'm placing my pencil on a new spot of the drawing. I'm gonna go back to my object. Now I'm turning the corner. I'm gonna take a peek to see if it's really in the right spot. Am I going the right speed? If it looks close enough, I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go back down here because I don't wanna to drive too far away. I wanna stay kind of by the central information <clears throat> that I'm doing so I can connect shapes. go to another shape. I'm going to place my pencil. All 
All right, I've gone about a half inch. I'm gonna take a peek, make sure things are looking okay. Finished a shape, gonna place my pencil. Now I'm gonna go back up here, place my pencil. Now I'm gonna go back to my object. I'm getting close to where shape's gonna finish. So I'm gonna look a little sooner and then connect it. And that is my five minutes and I didn't get as far as I normally would because I kept stopping and talking. Okay, so there's what I finished in five minutes. Let me get the timer. <clears throat> get more than this done but because you can't see me I was uh, telling you when I was stopping and taking a look so I didn't get as much done as I normally would but that's Miss Sackett's in five minutes so let's pretend like this was maybe oh a three and a half minute drawing instead of five because I was talking so much and then I had to stop and revisualize but let me do another one this time I think I will just draw and not talk so that you can see what's happening just remember that I am not looking at my paper while drawing I'm stopping and taking peeks time do I got you at 12 yeah maybe we'll save that for later okay so I think I will do a separate demonstration for you guys um, before our practice tomorrow okay I think this is long enough to watch me draw for now um, what you're gonna do is continue to uh, practice visualizing Practice, practice, practice. Um, also, wouldn't hurt to be practicing some more continuous line if you didn't get two done yesterday. Make sure you're getting my feedback. And I will do a little intro five minute um, uh, drawing tomorrow before you do your practice. So I will do another five minute one without me talking so much so that I can get some more drawing done for you. All right, now remember, difference between modified and pure contour and the similarities. One, we're still visualizing, always visualizing. Always, always, always. And you're gonna pick a spot on your object to draw. You're looking at the object while drawing for both. And pure contour, you just keep going and going and going until your five minutes is up. Or if you're choosing to have some draw time on your own, you can draw as long as you want, but for warm ups, you know, five minutes, that's long enough, okay? Now, for modified contour, I'm gonna draw, draw, draw. Go a little ways, stop and take a peek, go back to my object, draw, 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 stop and take a peek. And you notice that I'm having to move my head so that if you have your drawing right under your hand, you're tempted to look at the paper and you end up sketching. So if you are a peeker, and you should know because I probably commented on your pure contour, um, have your what you're drawing way away so that you have to have a whole head turn, not a little eye drop because then you cheat and you peek and you don't think you're peeking because you don't realize it, okay? All right, practicing tomorrow, practice visualizing, look at your feedback. Bye for now.